Today we're crossing Finland on the Santa Claus Express sleeper train. We start in Helsinki and go all the way to Rovaniemi, a town in the Arctic Circle, and we're taking you along with us. Are you pumped or what? It's coming! I'm so excited! Oh, you better watch out! You better not cry! You better not cry! Santa Claus Express Santa? is coming here. I love the designs on the train. They have owls and trees, and of course, the little Santa Claus on the little toe. So great. Yeah. So I think this is literally our car, the one with the Santa Claus on the side. 54? Yeah. Let's get in. Let's go. Fancy. Nice. We're seat sleeper cabin 109 and 110. Okay, we're this way, I think. This is us. That was easy. Oh my word, this is so cute. All right, tour time. So we come on in here through the door and there are the beds, they're bunk beds, super cute green sheets and the pillows have owls on them. How sweet. Those are cute, get it? An <laughs> owl cute. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> You have coat hangers, which is really convenient, and you also have actual like hangers to put your clothes. You have a plug-in. I'm assuming we have more around here. We have a nice seat here if you're not wanting to get on the bed right away. There's safety bars, which is good because it might get a little rocky in here. There's an emergency thing to break the glass. We have a ladder. This ladder is built into the bed, and it allows you to get to the top bunk. We have complimentary towels and water. Really good. We have some like netted storage, I'm gonna call it, because you can put stuff in there. A trash can right over here. Really big one, honestly, for a train trash can. This folds out into a cute little sink. Look how little that sink is. It's crazy. And a mirror, you have cups if you want water. And oh, complimentary soap as well. These, which we're trained professionals now. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> so we know exactly what these are. These are like keys to your door. They have like certain little holes and that basically is like the key and you put it in the slot and it unlocks your door. And this one seems to be for the shower because we have a shared bathroom on this train. There's a lot of lights in here, which is gonna be good. We have thermostat to control the temperature. That's gonna be nice when it gets a little more chilly once we get up north. Right next to the bed, you kind of have like a control center with a speaker, a light, a plug-in. <laughs> Tight squeeze, tight squeeze, tight squeeze. All right. And of course, we can't forget our very own window. I can't wait to see the beautiful views in the morning because it is dark right now. <laughs> and you have a ugh, little screen to put down when you're about to go to sleep to block the sun. And for like the train stations, I bet too. Oh, and for the train station lights as well. That's a good point. And I think that's about it. This room is definitely spacious for being like a train room. You can kind of really walk around a lot in here, which is nice. Can you do jumping jacks? Yeah, you can. <laughs> nice job. Give them the people what they want. Okay, here's the real test. Are the beds big enough for our storage? Oh my word, it is. Let's oh, go. Space, there's a lot of space for your bags under the bed. I must say storage wise, this like sleeper is so nice. And just like our last train experience, these doors have magnets. So when the train's moving and it's jostling around, the doors won't be jostling around with it because it's hard to open because it's a magnet. Is that, is that how those work? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're the last time we were up in the Laplands, there was like nowhere to go to eat except for like restaurants, like the one restaurant they had. And it would be like $40 for one plate. We got all these groceries for 50 euro. And this is going to be all our meals for the next four days. They also have Wi Fi. Is it good? I don't know. Still loading. <laughs> That's not very promising now, is it? Man, we're experts now. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time to see the rest of the train. It's looking like these are just like the same cabins as us. 
for the next car. It's also double decker, so there are two floors of rooms. Crazy. I wonder if this sign means that pets are allowed in that room? I bet. Yeah. I bet. It does look like it's pet friendly. I've seen pets on this train. It looks like this is all storage, I think, right? Ah, uh, there's chairs. So maybe this is like coach? Maybe? Business coach? Business? I don't know. Private coach? <laughs> Something coach. Looks like the next car is coach. Yeah. Like real coach. <laughs> coach seats. Pretty cheap. What do you what are your first thoughts? It's honestly as seats go, pretty comfortable. But I don't know if I want to spend twelve hours. In yeah, this is very comfortable for just like a regular train seat, but all night I would not be happy with this. Yeah. How, do they even lie back? Oh, it's a lever. Okay, a little bit. Not bad. A lot of buttons. I just want to touch them, but there's glass. So you have a whole room here where you go inside to use the Wi-Fi. There's a section to hold your bikes and your stroller. Wow. wow. <laughs> this is the dining car and it looks really nice and it smells really good too. Yeah, it smells like tomato soup. And they have like a bunch of seats, like a diner, honestly, like a whole diner car. This train is so smooth. It doesn't even feel like we're moving right now, but we are. I think we're going pretty fast too. I like 30 miles an hour. I can't feel a thing. Ooh. Now we've explored the train. It's pretty fun to explore trains. Well, this is kind of tight quarters. Not bad though, for a public shower on the train. You got your little area to put your stuff. I'll put my key card there. Thing for pressure. Push button, nice, shampoo. And there's the nozzle. And then right here you have coat hangers, like hang your shirt and stuff. All right, let's do this. I did attempt this in um, on our last train. Didn't go very well. I'm really nervous. <laughs> very hard sometimes to figure out exactly what does what here. Okay, this is always the tricky part. Why is it coming? Oh! Do I have to turn the nozzle? It's like doing a little bit. Oh! There it is. Oh, that's so cold. The hottest it gets is like lukewarm. I'm just gonna go for it. Man, the train's rocking too. Nice! Done with that. As showers go, that was not bad. I mean, they had soap, the water pressure was pretty good. I'll take what I can get. That was super nice. Everyone, sleeper trains are just a great invention because you literally get accommodation and transportation to where you need to go all in one ticket all in one ticket guys it's the move all right rika how comfy are the beds out of ten? Six. they're not like super comfy but they're they're comfy enough to sleep in and they're yeah. better than chairs so yeah i think i'll sleep pretty well tonight you'll see you in the morning good night for now everyone How'd you sleep? Not very well. So much jostling and lights, but that's okay. Yeah. Life on the train. You can start to see the snow now. It like just started. Wow. There's only 45 minutes till our train gets to Rovaniemi, but we really want to try the food on this train. So that's what we're going to do. The dining car has like huge windows. So you can really appreciate it, you know? Okay, with gorgeous views, train going to the Arctic Circle. Got a falafel salad. Looks really good. Look at that. Yeah, the quality of the food looks way, way high. Mm. Fresh fried falafel. That's fantastic. Mmm, that is good. Isn't that good? Thank you. Kitos. 
All right, bathroom tour time. We only have 30 minutes till we get to Roban Yami, so we gotta do this quick. So we have all the normal bathroom things, a toilet, a sink, a trash can, toilet paper. They also have a changing station for mothers. There are a lot of families on this train, so I'm not surprised. They also have a kid's toilet seat. Looks like they have a humidifier. I'm not quite sure what that thing is right there, but they have it and they have a charger outlet. They also have soap and paper towels and the sink, just like every sink in here is automatic. Coat hangers right behind me. And that's pretty much it. This bathroom is definitely the biggest bathroom that I have ever been in on a train. Most of the time they are really small and a little bit cramped. It is so peaceful just like staring at these windows, the snow covered kind of barren ground. There are trees, but none of them are super tall and you have the occasional body of water, which is super cool. Really completes that Santa Clausy Christmassy winter wonderland sort of vibe, which is awesome. Okay, we gotta pack up. Roll your head gently to the right, and then back to center. On the road, Rika and I can get pretty stressed just because there's a lot to do. It's an app called Calm, and it like has guided meditations. It's amazing. We've been doing it like for the past few weeks, not every day, but we try to do it most days. And it's it's crazy the difference in like high tension that I have before that and then just peaceful existence. Rubanemi, let's go. Should we double check that we have everything? Yeah. Goodbye. It is so snowy. Oh, Rubanemi. Oh. We're here. Santa Claus Express. That was so sick. That was a fun experience overall. Yeah? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> and that's a wrap on our Santa Claus Express experience. Overall, it was a really fun time, even though I didn't get a lot of sleep. Yeah, I had a blast. I mean, it's not super Santa Clausy. I think it's because it actually brings you to Rovaniemi, which is the Finnish town where supposedly Santa Claus lives. All right, you ready to meet Santa? Guys, they are so, so bright. This is insane. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Stay tuned for that, and we'll see you later. Peace out, guys. Take care.